Guys, I am really excited today, and if you are a follower of this channel, you might just know why. In a previous video I made, I talked about different replacement GameCube control stick options that were out there on the market, and I was very frustrated in just the sheer amount of low quality control sticks that were flooding the market. If you went on eBay or Amazon, and you just searched up replacement control sticks for GameCube, you would be met by pretty much the same manufacturer's control sticks over and over, being sold by different vendors, but in the end, you would get the same mushy, low quality, bad shaped sticks that just didn't feel as great as the originals. Now in a game like competitive Smash Brothers, feel of the controller means a lot to the player. The majority. Tomorrow. Mango, what the fuck? I, you know I'm, I'm over your controller. Shit, yeah. My controller, I'm actually super serious about it. I have to have the perfect controller. So this did pose as a problem. People like me who really like the original control stick had to buy either really cheap or broken official GameCube controllers and just swap out the control sticks between the two controllers and would just have to hope that the controller that you bought had a good condition control stick. And the reason why I'm excited now is because legitimate controller companies are finally stepping into the picture and distributing out their own controller sticks for the GameCube. The one I'm going over today is the Dome control stick from Battle Beaver Customs. Now this is a very interesting control stick. I did see it on their website and I believe a couple people have actually asked me to go over this. So I did and I paid my own money for it and everything like that. And for the past couple of days, I have been trying it out on my own controller. And I gotta say, I am very, very pleased with it. Everything about this, you'll see in a sec once I reassemble the controller and show you guys just how it looks in the shell and everything. But this control stick feels solid. It feels like a great fit in the shell. No parts of the base rub up against the shell, no part of the stick prematurely hits the top of the shell, causing that mushy feeling. And I'm pleased to say that I would recommend this as a very good option to change out with your official control stick. Now there are a couple differences, don't get me wrong. The surface area of the stick is actually bigger than that of the original GameCube controller, if you can see it right here. It is also much taller than the GameCube controller, and it doesn't have that cutaway that I did mention in my previous video about control sticks. However, I don't think that's a big deal because when I have this on my motherboard, it does not touch this little metal piece that I was previously concerned about. Now, like I said, it is taller, so it will feel a little clumsy when you first start. If you are using, say, a Wii nunchuck stick in your GameCube controller, this will be a smoother transition for you if you do decide to go with this controller stick option. But within just a couple of hours of playing, this should feel more and more at home to you. The shaft of the control stick is also much thinner than that of the original control stick, and I will prove that to you right now using this caliper that I got. So setting it to zero, just seeing how thick the cylinder part of the official GameCube controller is, it comes in at 10.4 millimeters. Now if you want to test Battle Beaver control stick, it comes in at 8.86 millimeters, which is actually the opposite of something that I feared with replacement sticks. I always thought if the cylinder part of the control stick was too thick, you might lose any kind of movement, but it's actually the exact opposite. It's actually thinner than that of the original stick. And just to give you guys reference, I will test the heights of each control stick. The official one comes in at 18.36 millimeters, and the one on Battle Beaver Custom site comes in at 18.98. So it does show you that even a little bit of difference does make a big difference in feel, especially if you get this for yourself. You will absolutely feel the difference of height, but like I said, it's more of a preference thing. Some people actually do like taller control sticks. Now, here's something interesting about the control stick. It actually reminded me a lot of my old Xbox 360 controller, which I dug up and have right here. Now, if you guys played Xbox back in that day, there were a lot of controller accessories, peripherals, whatever, and people were always doing different things to their control sticks. Control freaks were a thing that raised the height of your control stick. You know, again, that's a preference thing. Some people want a taller control stick, but I remember dome sticks on Xbox controllers being a thing because people who maybe like the PlayStation 3 controller better wanted the dome stick. And I had a couple of Xbox 360 control sticks laying around. The thing about the Battle Beaver control stick, I don't know what manufacturer they're going through in order to get these, but they are the exact same as a couple of dome sticks that I have left over from my 360 controllers. Now I have tried each of these Xbox sticks on my GameCube board, and unfortunately the official concave ones do not work. However, these old third-party dome sticks that I have do actually work perfectly on this and actually pretty much are the exact same mold as the ones featured on Battle Beaver Customs. Now this is probably just a result of those two companies just using the same manufacturer, but it is pretty interesting just knowing that these have been around for so long. I did get this on eBay back in the day. That listing is now long gone. And nowadays there aren't actually any distributors 
of this domed stick that I know of. So if you do want to get these, Battle Beaver Customs is still the way to go. Just as a price and shipping reference, I did buy this. It was $3 or $2.99 and it did come within six days. I forgot how much I did pay for shipping. If you want a few of them to get a few of them just so that you don't have to keep paying shipping each time because I think the shipping actually where I live was more than the control stick itself. But yeah, with all that information out of the way, let's show you just how good it looks in your controller. Assembling it is just as easy as ever. Just place it directly onto your motherboard and it should slip right in. In honor of Battle Beavers, I do have my Battle Beaver tri wing right there. That does work very well. And here you have it, the finished product. I did try to match it with purple buttons that I did already have lying around. You know, not the right shade of purple. These are clear, these are not. But through Battle Beaver, they have a variety of options. They have clear, not clear, solid colors. And like I said, they click all the way around, which is a very, very good thing. At no point does the top of the control stick hit the shell, which was a big problem with cheaper control sticks. And yeah, overall, just besides getting over the increased height, this is still a very good option of replacement. Now, like I said, if you do happen to have any kind of dome stick like this from way back when, I've, I don't even know who made these back then, but these also do work. They seem to be from the same manufacturer, but like I said, these do come cheap on the website. You just have to pay shipping. That's, you know, just the bigger part. But overall, I am very happy with this option of replacement, especially if you played on a PS3 controller or an Xbox 360 controller with these sticks for a very long time. These will feel right at home. I'm sure you'll find comfort using this control stick. If you guys have any thoughts, comments, questions, as always, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to get to every one of you guys. But just as always, thank you guys for the continued support. This has been Zenith with my first product showcase on controller sticks. I do have a lot more coming in and I have more to test and everything. This was just the first of hopefully many. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.